Thursday to everybody. Um, good red zone practice today. Re-emphasized uh, our red zone plan and uh, uh, basically finalized our special teams. I told you I would let you know uh, what we're going to do from the kicking standpoint. Um, for uh, kickoffs right now consistently, I think Mike, Mike has uh, set the tone there, so he'll handle our kickoffs. Um, from a field goal standpoint, uh, Chase is going to handle our field goals. He's done a wonderful job the last uh, two weeks and has been very consistent. So we'll make a full speed decision there and go for, with who's best in the moment right now. And then punting wise, uh, we really feel that uh, Reed Budrovic has had a, a, a wonderful camp and has really won the job. So um, that's where we're going to be right now in this moment and we'll reevaluate each and every, every week. Uh, but uh, right now, that's the direction we're going to go. Injury, injury wise, uh, we got to get Isaiah Langley back out there today. He moved around and was feeling good. Uh, we'll check him out one more time tomorrow and see where he's at. Um, but uh, he looked good. Viani and Daniel continue to look good. I anticipate both them contributing in this game. With that, I'll answer any questions that you got. Did uh, Jody Lewis get hurt yesterday? He got a thumb caught in a face mask. He was at, he practiced today, just a weird deal um, where he got it caught, slight sprain, but nothing that's going to hold him out. Biggie Marshall has played throughout his high school and before that career, played every different position. He played offensive line, defensive line, linebacker, mm -hmm. quarterback. Um, can you see that reflected in the way he plays at all? Yeah, you know, one of the things I love about the guys that we recruit, they do play multiple positions. I, I think of I think of Biggie. I, I think of a Jane A. Harris. You think of Jack Jones. I, I think it helps you with your football instincts because you can anticipate what they're going to do offensively. You've played it before. Uh, uh, we love two-way guys uh, coming in our evaluations. Um, it, it helps us. We think we're getting a, a better player. Uh, when when we see that. So um, Biggie is definitely one of those guys I think that's benefited by the way he's grown up uh, on both sides of the ball. Does he ask you or any of the other coaches stuff not related to his position? Like, does he ask you what, like, a quarterback's doing? Or no, I, like I tell you what, I, I've been very impressed with him, especially in these last two camps, both spring and fall. He's really glued in on trying to be a, a master of his craft at, at the corner position. I mean, from listening to, you know, coaches, to players, to even talking to receivers, getting offense, even getting offensive input about, hey, coach, tell me what you're thinking here. As a, what would a quarterback think right here? He's really trying to master his craft at that position. I think I think it's going to really pay off for him this year. With the heat this week and uh, Saturday, have you guys had to do anything differently or – you no, one of the things that we do from a sports science standpoint, and we've done it for the last year, is uh, our hydration testing. Um, just, uh, it's a daily consistent basis of testing where guys are throughout the week um, and being able to, um, if we need to hydrate, uh, to be able to catch it before they cramp up. Um, so it's one of the things that we do throughout the week. We'll do it again Friday night prior to the game, see where the guy's at. So we still got uh, enough time to get them hydrated prior to the game. Have you had anybody where you had to hydrate them in practice? Oh, no question. I mean, that's one of the things we like doing. That's why we do our strength and conditioning is in the morning because we're able to hydrate them then, and I get that information prior to practice. Um, and then those guys in our team meeting, you can see water and Gatorade bottles <laughs> across the row with their chairs uh, if they're slightly down just to be able to get them caught back up. Instead of being in a guessing game of where they're at, I like to, I like to know and I like for them to know uh, throughout the week. Can you get real time? Information. Like um, hey, I usually get it. Usually takes about an hour um, to get everybody collected, get it in the database, and then and then I have a, a database chart that they give me um, about an hour after they're tested, um, and then that allows me to be able to when they come into that team meeting alert them and shove shove liquids down and prior to practice. Could this be the the best running back groups you're gonna you might see all year? I mean, are, are these guys? You know that talented. It, yeah, it's it's definitely a three-headed monster, and, and it's such a change of pace from what you're getting from each back. You, they, you know, you got one that's rushed for three over three thousand yards in his career, and really is a two hundred twenty-eight pound man that's um, uh, great in between the tackles, can move the chains, extremely physical, does not come down with arm tackles, and then you got one that's about one hundred eighty-seven, one hundred ninety pounds that um, is really a scat back, is is a jitterbug in the hole and hard to get down. 
down. Um, and then, you know, Bellamy's coming back, and he, he's a true speed guy. You know, he's a 10 4, 10 500 meter guy, so we'll see where he's at. But he's been a produ produced for him also. So this is as quality a backfield, and I said it the other day. I, they have the three headed monster you hate to see a, a really good running game, a, a really quality, solid defense that helped teams at 19 points a game, and then they've got the special teams player of the year in the MAC. And so they, they've got the things that scare you uh, as an opponent. How do you feel about Mike and Chase going into their first game kicking? I know a couple weeks ago you were mm -hmm. talking about you know, they needed more practice, but how do you feel? Yeah, you know, I feel a lot more confident than I did. I think they've grown. Um, I, I think the competition has really, really helped because it's been a daily uh, a daily competition where they've, been, they've basically pushed each other. Um, and, and in looking at it, you know, sat down with Bax so and we watched all the tape and really felt that Mike was being more consistent in the kickoff area and, and Chase had really had a nice hot streak these last two weeks. And, and uh, so we made a full speed decision that we would split up the duties uh, based on who's doing what the best. Um, and credit to those kids, they've worked. And uh, like I told them this morning, uh, I know that they're gonna go out and produce and help their football family win games. And I expect them to continue to push each other throughout the season. You said we could see both doing place kicking duties, uh, field goal kicking uh, th throughout the season. Mm -hmm. Do you anticipate within games we could see both of them? Or are you going to stick? No, with I'm, I'm going to let Chase go and see where he's at. You know, and and uh, it's his opportunity to produce. It's uh, Mike's opportunity to produce in the kickoff area. Both are going to continue to work in practice in both phases, and and we'll, uh, hopefully we'll look up after three games and. Both are doing a terrific job. Um, if one passes the other over the next three weeks, then obviously you know we'll do what's best for the team in, in that in that in that time. But right now, this is what we feel is best for our football team in this moment. Do one more. So if you get a like a an early duck hook or something, you you no. the guy's good. He's, no, he's he's a he's a freshman. We got a freshman and a redshirt freshman. That's. You know, the, the good thing is both of them are extremely talented and going to be really good football players on this team. Um, they're young and they're getting better by the day. Um, but I'm, I'm, as you know, I, I like to be patient and show poise and to be able to um, know that we're confident in them to do their job and they don't have to look over their shoulder with each kick. Coach, as a, as a coaching group, you guys have obviously worked your tails off your players as well. How much are you just looking forward to them getting um, out there on Saturday and having some fun? Well, I told the guys at the, the end of this practice, I said, guys, take care of yourself tonight. I have nothing left to say. It's time to go play. Uh, we've gone five weeks now, and it's, I'm really excited just to see where we are. I, I know where our vets are. I've been around them enough. I'm just really excited to see the redshirt freshmen and the true freshmen go out there and perform and see what type of team we have now that we're introducing them.